Welcome everyone. Today we have an odd case. We will be discussing a case in which a man is accused of tossing 40 pound sandbags from an overpass. I'm Anthony Ray, one of the attorneys here at Ray Law Criminal Defense, where we believe it is critical to educate all on the legal impact of their actions. If you are new here, make sure you click that subscribe button and check out the links below. Let's take a look at the law, the legal procedure, and the facts for today. On October 5th, a man felt compelled to toss 40 pound sandbags from an I-96 overpass onto the cars below after he had crashed his truck. The man found sandbags from a construction site and proceeded to toss the sandbags. One of the sandbags went through a woman's windshield causing the woman to suffer severe injuries. The man is being charged with felonious assault, damage to private property, and throwing objects at a motor vehicle causing injury. Let's dive deeper into the last charge, throwing objects at motor vehicles. Under Michigan law, there is a specific statute that addresses throwing, propelling, or dropping dangerous objects on motor vehicles. The punishment for the crime varies depending on the injury sustained by the property and or victim. Already, the man is facing a misdemeanor charge punishable by up to one year of imprisonment and up to $500 fine for damaging the woman's windshield. On top of that, he is also facing a felony charge punishable by up to four years imprisonment and up to 2,000 in fines or both of these penalties causing injury to the victim. If the woman suffers serious impairment or dies as a result of the injuries, then the man could be facing even steeper punishments. In the present case, the man was clearly having a bad day as a result of crashing his vehicle and expresses frustration in a non-law body manner. But it is important to note that you do not have to intend to damage the property or intend to hurt someone in order to be charged with throwing objects at a motor vehicle. For example, you may be innocently throwing snowballs at passing cars for fun, but what happens when you accidentally damage a vehicle? or a snowball hits the vehicle's windshield and causes the driver to panic, lose control, and crash their vehicle. Even though the act of throwing snowballs may have been all in good fun, you can be charged with a serious criminal offense if you cause damage or injury, even if you did not have any bad intent. Here, the prosecutor's job will be to prove the link between the man and the damage to the woman's vehicle and the link between the man and the woman's injury. The prosecutor must prove that it was the man who directly caused the harm. One defense in this scenario would be to place reasonable doubt on the evidence used by the prosecution to establish direct fault. This can include questioning a witness's credibility or the accuracy of video footage. Now, more than ever, it is important that you have a criminal defense attorney involved in your case to fight for and protect your rights. Get the Ray Law Advantage. Get the protection and knowledge that you need to get your life back on the right track. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.